This is Code.org. I'm currently working on CS Principles, their Data Tools Unit, Lesson 10, Reading Records, Puzzle 5, Changing the Table. The first parameter in Read Records command is the name of the table that you wish to read records from, and that makes sense. Oh, and it's done as a string. You have been using the My Table, the name My Table, but just like variables and IDs, your table should be given descriptive and meaningful names, definitely. Um, and that means it would follow the same rule set, right? No spaces, any of that. Do this. Note, we've given you a new database that already includes a table with some data in it. Open the data viewer to find the name of the table. What do we got? Ooh. Oh, ah, highest earning movies ever. Ooh, there's a bunch of them. They do 150? Okay. Shrek the third is on here. I'm impressed. Nothing against Shrek. Alright, anyways. Uh drag the red rec read records and change the table name parameter to pull records from the new table. And so the name was top movies. So now this function will run and we're gonna ask the server for top movies as our table. Run the program, your output should look like the one below. Oh, yeah, and we don't need to change this because we're naming whatever it returns, right? After it is returned, we run this function records, and whatever it returns is named records, so we can just console log it. But, uh. Cool. Great, let's, uh, keep going.